I'll be sharing, I cannot say my experience, our own experience. As you know, Nepal is a viral infection and it was a threat for us and for our Indian world. I am Dr. Ajumbal, head of the Department of Health and Medicine, Calicut Medical College, Kerala. So first of all, I put my homage to the Department of Health. We lost uh, 17 precious lives and uh, we were able to see two of the patients. So God grace, actually, the central team visited Kirukuru's telling that at least you have to expect more than 300 death during this period. But fortunately, with the help of God, we have attained to 17 only. So as you know, the is a viral infection and the name came from Shangai Nipa, a village in Malaysian peninsula. So actually, May 18th to June 10th, it was a scare in Kerala, India, and even worldwide. So, what is Nipah? It is a viral infection, it's a zoonotic disease. That means it's an infection spreading from animal to human beings. 1998, Malaysia and Singapore was affected. 2001, Bangladesh, it's a single-stranded RNA virus. And the fruit bats are the first for this uh, virus. So this was a common zine in our good old days in rural center and even urban area all over India and worldwide you can see there are so many species of bats. So this is a scene. So I have enjoyed the nestle of the plantain. Most of you might have also enjoyed. So how virus transmission from bats to human being is one through inhalation and it is through contact and uh, consumption of Nipah viral infected secretions. So what is the reason for this emergence of or re-emergence of this infection? Virus was there in the bats but how it came out is we don't know much about. But uh, as you know we have got planned and unplanned urbanization, overgrazing, commercial and agricultural exploitation, deforestation, human migration, and the poor environment sanitation. So, deforestation may lead to loss of natural habit of the animals, especially bats, and which in turn will weaken the immune system of bats, which may lead to increased viral load in the body, which may be excreted. And there are so many seasonal and stress factors, especially in summer and breeding season, these bats are having a stressful period. That may be the reason which we came across this episode during last May. So, there were so many stories about the origin of this empire. From bio terrorism to so many things we have thought. But the mystery was unveiled by getting the samples from the bats we collected the central team has collected first batch in start of May. About 21 bats were trapped and these specimens were sent for a viral examination. And these bats were free of virus. Unfortunately, these bats were insectivorous virus bats. So this is how they collected the sample. And uh, towards the end of May, early part of June, they have collected Another group of bats from that area, that was uh, you know, herbivorous bats, and it was the virus was found in these bats, and this has uh, the mystery was underwent, and uh, it was proved that bats were the carriers of this virus. So, May 19, May 2018, Kerala reported the three deaths of Nipah virus in a small village near Perabra in Calicut and three deaths occurred in the same family and this was the first time of Nipah reported in Kerala and the third known outbreak of Nipah in India and previous ones having in 2001 which caused 45 deaths and in 2007 caused 5 deaths. So as you know, Holy is a busy 
area and all the hospitals during this period, hospitals were empty, wards were empty, traffic were less, and almost bus trip has been cancelled. Hotel mice and theatre were almost haunted. Railway station was less crowded. Social gathering was minimal. And during that season, we had uh, uh, this uh, fasting season for Muslims, and we lost so many dinners, no more etc. In that period, so many marriages and other functions, social functions were cancelled during this period. Education institutions were cancelled. Examination was postponed. And media, as you know, for every incidence, we will be having media visit. But for initial two to three days, this media people were behind us with this antenna and all. After two days, because of the natural disinfection, these people have left the place and only through phone only they have contacted us. And the tourists were afraid of coming to Kerala. You can see this the casualty in front of the, uh, you can see in front of the casualty, all the trolleys are empty. And you can see few patients are or bystanders are assisting with the uh, uh, mouth closed with the mask. So this is one of our ward, you can see usually about 96% occupancy was there in our ward, wards, but this was the status during that period. And I don't know what happened to this patient, I have asked. Usually in our hospital, we used to have uh, more than 30 patients on oxygen to and out. None of them were there and I asked other private hospitals whether these patients are there. But they also said no. So I don't know what happened to this patient. So this, you can see the shop in front of the hospital being closed. So fruit sale, as you know, in front of the hospital were very much affected. Tourists were not coming because of apprehension and uh, the second you can see that uh, they have put a board, ILP is free from Nipah. Similarly, can you get some of the private hospital put the notice for that our hospital is Nipah free. That was the scenario in Calicut during that period. And actually when we come to the episode, this time you can see that this is the first case you can see zero patient. For the family it has infected a three, one to three cases. From the hospital one patient as was there, from where that hospital four patients were affected and the other eleven cases were infected in our medical college. So as customarily to see in our scenario, when a patient is admitted in the hospital, so many visitors may be there. Suppose one fellow is vomiting, the other bystander may be helping him like this. So most of the affected person in the seven that the eleven group was such innocent people who were in contact with the infected person. So why this episode or event was suspected as NIPA? The second, when the second case was reported one of the private hospital in Canada, baby more hospital. When taken the history, with the history of uh, the first patient in the family and uh, the clinical presentation, respiratory symptoms, colon, meningeal and encephalitis, they thought the possibility of a viral, a typical viral infection and the sample was sent to viral institute of Manipal hospital by Dr. Anu and uh, Dr. Rai, other team neurologist and uh, the cell came as Nipah viral infection. As you know, the our diagnosis was within one week and in other uh, Malaysia and all it took at least two to three months to get the etiology as viral infection. So earlier detection of the culprit was the success behind our story. So we are working in this hospital, our department is the Pulmonary Medicine Department and we had severe cases, five severe cases of Shunipa and uh, you can see that second case only survived, she being a nursing student who was exposed in the casualty and other foreign patient expired. And other, we totally we lost about, uh, not about 17 patients and all other patients were in the main medical college and we didn't got much time to see the patient because most of the patients when they arrived the hospital it was terminal and they expired from the itself. So common symptom as you know for viral infection, for our fever may be the uh, headache may be the nausea, moving as a is common for other viral illness, but uh, as far as this disease is concerned, 
There was a rapid progression of the respiratory symptom and the mental meningitis etc. was there. Treatment coming to a treatment, as such there is no treatment for uh, this viral infection. Only we did this uh, supportive care with oxygen and other nutritional aspect. And there is a uh, rebound, there is an antiviral drug. Fortunately, we got it uh, even before the government has supplied in our hospital by our own effort from private sector. And we have given all this uh, antiviral to our patients. And uh, media you might have seen some drugs being imported from Australia. It is a, a, not a vaccination. It is monoclonal antibody. It was, uh, uh, we got it from Australia. But we have not tried because it's a trial drug only. But when it, before it came, the event the was closed. Coming to how it was confined, once the disease was confined, the government machinery is strong into action. All suspected cases were moved to the government hospital medical college. Isolation protocol on the lines of WHO guidance was formed. Health personnel in all hospitals were given training and safety guidance because uh, being an infection, 99% of our hospital staff were trained how to put the gown, mask, goggles, etc. So the central team came, they arranged the isolation ward, we set a fever clinic for seeing separate fever patients. Uh, we collected the sample with all precautions and sent the variants to. And uh, as institutional level, uh, we have uh, ministers and visited our hospital. Academics and elective procedures were temporarily stopped. Arranged personal protective equipment. Uh, contact tracing. We have done contact tracing. More than 2,000 contacts were traced and isolated. And uh, daily meetings were conducted in the hospital and in the guest house in the presence of minister. So you can see the minister and the central team along with our principal and our team in the discussion. We were cleaning, we have started separately. And the isolation part to separate the patients, uh, distance between beds, we have got to optimum, restrict the number of visitors, environmental cleaning and disinfection, strict visitor policy, all these things we have done. So this, may, this you can see almost 90% of our staff were shown how to put the gown and uh, the experience of being in the gown is very tough. You cannot uh, sit for more than one to two hours in this dress so that it is very tight and no air will enter, nothing. So it's a very bad experience to be in the. So regarding hand washing was uh, the message was spread to everybody. Cleaning regarding even the cleaner. There is a cleaner or doctor, everybody was wearing the gown and all these dresses. You can see the other that in the area with the security staff. So the pity part of all this thing is how to prevent the body. As usual, the body we were not sending to their home. Body was taken from the hospital directly to electric crematorium. Even there was confusion. Nobody was taking the body for the conventional people who are anxious people doing this one, they are not uh, willing for. And they are mostly uh, forced to do that uh, in the electrical crematorium, etc. So this man, you can see the, uh, once the death occurred, even the relatives are not allowed to see the patient. And uh, so what happened? One of the Hindu boy, the corporation um, doctor was telling, he has done the rituals for the dead body. So this one episode when the Muslim patient expired and as a customer we cannot burn the body. So we have very tough time and we are interrogated with the political and religious leaders. Ultimately it was deeply buried with all standard precautions. So how to prevent the, uh, during a outbreak is how to decrease bad to human transmission. That's why washing and peeling of fruits, not eating half-eaten fruits, boiling napalm, it's not applicable in our scenario, avoid climbing trees which we have suspected the bad symptoms. That's one thing which we can do. How to reduce uh, animal to uh, human transmission, personal protective equipment we have to we are the gown, goggles, then shoes, gloves, etc. Restrict movements from animal birds. 
and to prevent the human to human transmission, personal protective equipment and hand hygiene by health care workers and avoid the visiting of the sick people was advised. You can see our Chief Minister uh, and the Health Minister being honored in the US for uh, timely control of our NIPA event. This is the meeting, one of the meeting which we last declared uh, Calicate as NIPA. You can see the all the ministers and countries sitting. You can see the minister returning back after uh, visiting the one of the survivor being our uh, patient. She is a nursing student. You can see these are the various appreciation letters from various organizations for our department. And the ministry is sharing the joy of uh, NIPA eradication. So this way all of the ministers uh, awarded us with so many laurels. So the containing the contagion was uh, our effort. So in Calicut, a course group has composed one song by by NIPA like that. You can see that's a clipping. That's I cannot uh, do the video here. So to conclude, a team of dedicated medical staff well oiled health machinery, effective monitoring by the bureaucracy and political leadership helped the state to win the battle against NIPA. Unclenching grip and still resolve, commitment towards work and all compassion towards fellow human beings helped us to snatch many people from the jaws of death. And as you know, NIE is the where the bat is the bat where the and uh, the threat is still continuing, but hopefully we are there for your Thank you.